Good morning. Uh, yeah, it's Thursday. It's uh, I think it's about half past ten. I have actually been up since quarter to six this morning. Um, I feel like I've been absolutely shattered recently, and I think especially since Edinburgh, like when we had like that night of three hours sleep, it's taken me like I just have felt exhausted. But this morning, I finally woke up and felt like, yeah, I'm feeling good again. I'm feeling like I've got my energy back. So yeah, I have just been um, tidying up, putting a load of, that's all like odd, oh no, that's paired socks. That's all odd socks that are left. Um, so I've been doing that, putting the washing on, putting my bed to wash, blah, blah, blah. Um, my mum hasn't phoned me yet. Normally we walk first thing on a Thursday, as you know, but um, haven't heard from her yet, but I'm presuming it's because it's kids' holidays. So the kids are probably just having a late start to the day because she has Phoebe on a Thursday. Um, which I'm presuming she will still be having the other kids as well today, probably. Um, but I'm presuming she's just leaving them to like have a bit of a slower start to the day. I should imagine. I don't know. I'll phone her soon. Um, but yeah, this morning I've just stamped my nails. I don't like them though. But I've gone for a nature theme. I don't know if you can see very well, but there's like flowers and birds and stuff like that butterflies um but yeah not really that keen but it doesn't matter because they're peeling off anyway so right um yeah i'm just gonna carry on cleaning up my roots really need doing look at all them greys it's not a good look is it right anyway i'm gonna carry on sorting out just thought i'd pop on and say hello okay me and nessie are out on the green um i did speak to my mom she has actually had the children since quite early this morning actually because George had a doctor's appointment so she took the girls um, but um, she's waiting for Phoebe to have a little sleep before she walks oh in fact she's calling me now one second <laughs> sorry what I was saying was my mum was waiting for Phoebe to have a sleep before she walked but uh, anyway Phoebe is not for sleeping so she's on her way now to come and pick us up so me and Ness will just have a wander around Ness was getting a bit impatient I was getting bored of doing the housework it's about 12 o'clock now so here we are, uh, it's stopped raining, it's been pouring down all morning, so I've been able to put my washing out, um, but yeah, I thought it was quite cold. It's about 20 degrees and I'm here in a woolly jumper. It <laughs> doesn't look like it's 20 degrees, does it? But there we go. Let's see when Nesca notices that my mum's there. Where's Nanny? Where's Nanny? There she goes. There she goes. Ah, oh, he's there. He's there. Yeah, got to get her to move. Look. Look. Oh, is he still bothering him? Has he finished well, his antibiotics? She's realised that... Will you carry my baby Oh, what a princess. Oh, what a princess. Oh, OK. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. No, 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 <laughs> You're very, very, very loud for a small person, aren't you? No. Oh, I think she's got something in her welly. Yeah, I think she has. <laughs> Hello my loves, it is now many hours later, it's about half six-ish now, something like that. Um, I'm going, I don't know why I look so red, why do my cheeks look so red? Um, I am going out tonight, I'm going out with Bob into town just for something to eat, don't know where we're going. Trouble is, I'm an extremely indecisive person, it turns out he's just as indecisive as I am. So that's great, so we're just going to meet in town and see where we end up. Uh, probably McDonald's again, knowing us. <laughs> No, we're not. We're going out properly. Um, so, yeah, I've just been on the green with Nesca just to let her have another wee and stuff. And um, there was these two girls walking their dogs. Uh, women, when I say girls. And uh, anyway, one of them was like, oh, I think that's the dog from the window. And then her girlfriend was like, no, the dog in the window is much smaller. <laughs> I was like, no, that's the dog in the window. That's her celebrity. Um Anywho, right, I am, um, well, I'm just waiting for a, for a text off Bob to say that he's ready and we'll both just set off and meet in the middle somewhere. Hello, so. good morning, guys. It's not morning, it's, it's quarter past 12. Something on my can. 
hang on. Right, sorry. Oh, now I've got water on my forehead. Oh, and I'm wearing Bob's hoodie. I must have got makeup on it. Anywho, good morning. How are you? What? Good afternoon. Oh my God, get it together, girl. Get it together. Um, this third coffee of the day should help. Um, cheers. This is my coffee from last week that I never had. Mm, nice. Uh, yeah, good, good afternoon. Uh, so, went out last night. Had mostly a good night, although something like so unfortunate happened. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story time. It's not it's nothing like major. Don't get too excited. Um but it's just like as if as if this had happened. Um so let me give you a bit of uh context first. Well not exactly context but a bit of so you know where I'm coming from. So a little while ago somebody asked me and I'm so sorry I'm so behind on comments again. Somebody asked me, I, I will get back to, to you, you know what it's like I get behind with comments and then I get overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. But anyway, somebody asked me does Bob know about me vlogging? No he doesn't and I have no intention of telling him. Um, Nesca's chewing a button in the window, she's getting some some attention. Um, and I have no intention of telling him. The reason I have no intention of telling him is because, and this might sound really, really strange, and I don't know if like people will get it on or not, but this is what it is. Because me and Bob are not like, we're not in it for the long term. I know that. Um, and I'm fine with that. That's absolutely fine. Um, but we do very much have a good laugh and that's like as deep as it goes. Um, and that's why I just like hanging out with him so much. But in terms of like a relationship, that's just it's just not going to happen i know that like i am not what he's looking for in a girlfriend in fact i'm probably the absolute opposite of what he is looking for in a girlfriend and that's fine there's absolutely nothing in the world i can do about that he knows you know like he wants somebody with a very um similar life to him life experiences to him i've led the exact opposite of him um i'm fine with that but like that's you know if that's what you're looking for that's what you're looking for there's nothing i can do um so that's fine, I've accepted that, it's cool, um, but we do have a really, really good laugh together, like I laugh my head off with him, so yeah, that's what it is, it's just fun for now, but it's not gonna, it's not going anywhere, I don't call him my boyfriend, like I know I don't correct people when they say that, like obviously, if someone says to me like, oh I saw you with your boyfriend, I just go, oh yeah, where are you at, like I don't correct them, but you will never hear me say that he's my boyfriend, I just say like, oh the person that I'm seeing. That's a deep into God. Anyway, so so that's my point. Um, no, he doesn't know about my vlog. No, I'm not going to tell him about it. But last night we were out, we we're having a laugh as we always do, and I had taken a video of him. He didn't like the video. I thought it was cute. He didn't like it, so he's like, "Oh, I'll delete it." So again, in a jokey way. So I deleted it because you know, if I asked him to delete a video of me, I would hope that he would. So I deleted it. I did it in front of him. And then he went, again, it was all like jokey, but he went, now show me in your deleted folder, like to make sure that I deleted it. Well, in my deleted folder, it's all my vlogging stuff, all my, you know, videos of me doing this. So I was like, fuck, I can't like open my deleted folder. So then I went, no. And then he was like, what? Why not? Like, again, it was all like jokey. It wasn't like, it wasn't like we didn't argue or anything, but it was just like so uncomfortable. And I was like, no, like you just seen me delete, I don't need to show you anything. And then, so then he just, he thought I was being dead shady. I was very aware that it was coming across as dead shady. And then I was like, you know, I'll show you my photos. Like it's not in there, it's deleted. And he was like, but why won't you show me your deleted photos and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, I'll show you my deleted stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to see your deleted stuff. And then, <laughs> yeah, and he, he, yeah, it, it was just so awkward. And he, he now thinks that I'm just being, dead shady again it didn't it wasn't an argument we like moved on from it but I could tell like it was in there he was thinking and then like throughout the night he'd sometimes say like are you being like honest with me and I was like yeah I'm being honest with you and he's like because you know I'm being honest with you don't you and I'm like yeah I know like there's nothing to to tell you and he was just like yeah so now I'm like oh fucking I don't know what to do because I feel dead bad that I've made him feel like shit because he thinks I'm being shady um, but I'm genuinely 
well I am but not for the reasons that he thinks I am like for such a boring reason but yeah at the same time I don't want him to know about my channel because like I say I know we're not going anywhere and then it's just weird that he knows and then <laughs> I don't know but then last night I was, I was like oh do I just tell him so that he doesn't feel like I I would hate to make somebody feel like shit which is how he will be feeling now because he thinks I'm not being honest with him but like I say it's not for the reasons that he thinks I know it's not that big of a dilemma but I hate that I'm making him feel rubbish but anyway like I, I don't know I mean we're texting like normal today but I know it's there in his mind so yeah that's what happened so we did have a good night but then there was just this thing over over the night Anyway, that was that. So what a what a predicament. Just like, what's the chances of him saying, let me see you deleted for? And he said it like, it was all just a joke. It was all just jokey up until I was like, no. Maybe I should have reacted in it. But there was no other way that I could have reacted really. Anyway, what do you reckon I should do? Just forget it. This time next year, we'll forget that each other even existed. So it doesn't matter. But then, like I said, He's still a person and I don't want to make anybody feel bad in any way, especially over something so stupid. <sighs> anyway, the time is, like I say, dinner time. I haven't done anything to say, I've just lazed about. In fact, I've only just had a shower. Um, not really have any plans for today other than walking the dog. Chill day and consider my life choices. <laughs> Hello, we're out and with all them lot, them noisy lot again, I've got a bit of a headache, you know, so I'm actually thinking I might just go home after this walk, have something to eat and then just lie on the sofa because I'm not feeling great. You know, I'm quite a headachey person, but I haven't been having headaches recently, but I also think I am during my period because look how spotty I am as well. Um, so it might be a hormonal headache, possibly, but yeah, where have they gone now? Miles away. Miles away. I can hear him though. You can always hear him, can't you? <laughs> That's a funny old face. Where are you at now? The forest. The forest. But you're in McDonald's, aren't you? This is the McDonald's tree. Come in. Oh, what is it? It's You know it's McDonald's, don't you? It's Chinese. Oh, Chinese. 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 Welcome to the restaurant, Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. Thank you. And it's a perfect. Do it for doggies. Doggies. <laughs> You got there, Nessie? Hello. Excuse the state of me, it's eight o'clock. So I walked the dogs, obviously, and I came home, and I just ended up with a banging headache. And I'll be honest, I've just, well, I've slept quite a lot of the afternoon. Um, my headache's gone now, but I'm just feeling really like, ugh. Um, <laughs> and I've just ordered a McDonald's. I've got a, is it on the box? A McSpicy uh, chicken burger and fries. Didn't get a drink, so I've got some coke down there. So, yeah, I'm gonna have that. I'm probably just having an early night, even though I've done nothing but sleep for most of the afternoon. I'm not even that hungry, I'm just craving like junk food. Like I say, I think it's possibly a hormonal thing. Hello, good afternoon. It's so dark in here, them curtains make a difference. Um, Yes, hello, good afternoon. It is four o'clock. Uh, I've just been at work today. It's been a bit of a quieter today, a quieter day today, which is really weird for a Saturday. Um, actually had a couple of gaps, but there we go. It happens sometimes. Just letting the birds out. I'm going out tonight with my friend Adam from Manchester, who I've not actually seen since before COVID, I don't think. I remember we went to um, Manchester, was it last year? 
might have been the year before actually near christmas time and I tried to meet him but he was working so i couldn't so yeah it's, i haven't seen him for years literal years so that'd be nice um he's staying with his parents just live up the road here he's staying with them so he's got to come down here at seven o'clock then we're just going to go out for food and drinks i think i was meant to arrange where we're going for food i haven't something will work out won't it um yeah so i've just uh well, i've just put a wash on i've just washed up and that's it really i was gonna redo my nails but can't bother i might do that tomorrow i'm gonna to be like housebound tomorrow because i am dog sitting my mum and dad are going to liverpool so i'm looking after shep shep has separation anxiety so he can't be left on his own so um yeah i think i'm just gonna like cut back hair and do my nails and stuff like that tomorrow possibly encourage me to do some jobs about the house that need doing um yeah it's four o'clock but i'm so tempted to like have a beer but is that just starting a bit too soon yeah, probably fuck it, let's do it. You talk me into it, you bad influence, you lot. Cheers. Okay, I am ready to go out. I'm wearing this um, black bodycon dress with the slit, which seems to be my default going out outfit nowadays. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely starving. I'm feeling really tired. Uh, I shouldn't have had that beer. Um, <laughs> but I'm feeling really tired, but I do really want to eat. And I am looking forward to seeing Adam, like right? because it's been literally a year since I've seen him last. I'm kind of wishing I didn't put this lipstick on because I'm eating and this is not a smudge proof lipstick. Um, but never mind, right. Uh, it's about five past seven now, so Adam should be here at any minute. I decided to take the lipstick off. That feels much more comfortable. I can just eat however I want now. Hello, good morning. We've got a loud visitor with us today. Hello. Hello. You, I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, good morning. It's quarter to 11. Uh, it's quarter to 11. I, excuse my face, I've been, I've been picking. Um, Nessie wants to say hello to you. Um, what am I saying? Good morning. I went out last night, as you know, it was nice. It was it was a very subdued night, to be honest. We just went out for tea uh, to a pub in town. That was good. And then we just went to a couple of pubs. So um, probably only had like four drinks, I reckon. Five. Yeah, five drinks. Um, was home about midnight. Um, so I'm not hungover or anything like that. Um, dog sitting today, as I told you. So yeah, today is just going to be a at-home day. I'm just going to do the jobs about the house. I'm going to paint my nails. Picked all that off last night. This is a fake nail, you know. So the rest are all real. Well, you can tell because it's the others are yellow in comparison, aren't they? Um, but this one I broke really short and it's getting on my nerves. So I just put a, a fake tip on it. And I think that looks really good. Like when that's painted, you won't be able to tell at all. That's just one of them. You know the brand Kiss? It's one of their kits from just from Boots, I think. I think it's about 25 quid, but I've had it a while now and I've used it a few times to just do that because I can't bear my nails being odd lengths so I was very close to taking all the rest of them short but then I thought no I'll put that on hopefully that'll last a little bit and then by which time it'll have grown naturally hopefully um without being too damaged right I am just going to tidy up a bit Okay, it's 22 now, we're out. As you can see, it took forever just to walk to my car because the chef was just sniffing everything. And these two on leads, they both have retractable. I mean, I put them on, like, I locked the retractable leads, but oh, they're getting all tangled up. It's a blooming nightmare. So anyway, now we're here. Chef can be, chef can be free. Um, yeah, so I, uh, after I've done this mats at home at the minute, having a shower, then when I get home, I am going to uh, cut his hair and finish tidying up. I've done most of the housework. Um, and then I'm just going to do my nails, I reckon. So very chilled out Sunday today. It's been quite nice, actually. Let's 
That did actually hurt that one. Oh, she's vicious. She's vicious. Now you gotta actually put a hole in my sock. Ow. Oh, very just... sensitive soul, so if ever you say ow or anything, he gets he gets a bit like this. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but Matthew just used some appalling language. I don't know where he gets that from. Huh? No. Um, I'm talking to my cat. He just found a spider in his room. <laughs> All right, I'll come and do it. He's getting his washing, but there's a spider amongst it. Um, yeah, I've just done Matt's hair. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Don't know. I've just done Matt's hair. He was watching Venom, but then he's disappeared. Um, and now he's hiding from a spider up there. I'm about to paint my nails. I'm going to go for this um, one. It's actually blue. So I got this one and that other coral one that I was wearing. I got them last week in TK Maxx. They're on sale for about two quid. And I think they're probably on sale because the colours do match, don't match what's in the bottle. So this is... Um, like obviously it looks purpley does it it does um but it's called ocean but it's like a name <laughs> where's your washing what where's your washing it's upstairs <laughs> name the hoover or something why how was it big no. <laughs> it's climbing up the wall though oh is it well the hoover's under there damn it um oh what's it yeah and then that coral colored one um was called peach and was like peach colour on the bottle so I presume that's why they were like two quid gel polish there so we're gonna do that uh Matt's just tidy in his room and yeah that's as exciting as our afternoon's getting Good morning. Uh, I've just come on to sign off basically because I forgot to yesterday. Time is 29, which I'm going down to work. I'm dressed like it's winter today because it feels like it's blooming winter. Look at this. And it, it's cold as well as. I don't think you can tell, but it's raining. It's horrible. Um, Yeah, so I'm just going to sign off. I didn't, I, like I said, I didn't finish the vlog yesterday, but nothing happened. Uh, Shep got picked up about seven o'clock, I think. Um, Yeah, I did my nails. Did them in that what's meant to be purple, but it's like a navy blue with polka dots, of course. Um, yeah, right, I'm going to sign off. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've all had a good week and I shall see you next week.